Well, well, well. Heard you want to recant your earlier statements. Yes, I misremembered some things. I did, in fact, hear Ron Swanson say he intended to injure Jeremy Jam. Boom. Knew it. Tell us about it, please. <sighs> Which time? Well, how many were there? Well... Yeah, we did a trade. I gave his wife new enamels. He gave my wife new yabos. <laughs> Who's that gentleman? Jeremy Jam, city councilman. You don't know him? Never met him. He looks like he could use a swift punch in the face, though. <laughs> yes. And then before he can say anything, I just run over, shove him into the pool. Bully for you. If it were me, I would have just punched him in the face. What's up, Ron? Just daydreaming about punching Jam in the face. And there were a few other times, too. We get okay. the picture, so... Uh, ho hold on. We need your full, truthful testimony on record. Keep going, Tom. Thank you, Ms. Ludgate. It is now quite clear that on innumerable occasions, Ron Swanson said he intended to punch Councilman Jam in the face, and then he did. Yeah, but who cares? He says a lot of things. He's always talking about overthrowing the government, but he never does that. Oh, that'll make a nice pull quote for the article about me taking you to the cleaners. Mr. Swanson, if you'd like to make a statement, you may. On the night I punched Councilman Jam in the face, I warned him several times to back off, and instead, he attacked me twice. Truthfully, I barely registered his attack. He's incredibly frail and his arms are weak. And when I punched him, he dropped so quickly I thought he was diving towards the ground. I regret nothing. The end. Well, this turned out better than I ever imagined. You got jammed by your own team. self jam. I'll see you in court, Swanson, and uh, bring your checkbook. I would like to punch you in the face again. Okay, Paul, let's go. <clears throat> Thank you.